Boom Pal Zap is back again and we're going to make a dog kennel into a chicken coop. Using a roof, some 2 by 4s a couple pieces of hardware, and hopefully we'll get it happening pretty soon. Well first what we're going to have to do since we pulled these out of storage and they're, we just put it together, it's not all secure. So we're going to have to tie these metal ties onto here and secure it to the skeleton of the whole thing and then we'll put some brackets on for the roof and a piece of two by four and we can nail the or screw the uh, roof pieces panels down onto the two by four but first we're going to get this secured so it's nothing can get in there in between these we've reclaimed some old fencing and stuck it on the bottom so the raccoons won't be able to dig and get underneath it What I've done is I've taken some one and a quarter inch galvanized tube strap and secured some two by fours to the top. And the two by fours will, we can secure the roof, which I have these roof panels onto the top. I have my boards fixed to the top and I'm going to put these on here to eliminate a little bit of the gap from the panels. And we'll go from there, I guess. Got a bit of an overhang here. Oh, it's tripping over stuff. And they're screwed down. What I'll probably end up doing is having to prop that up to make, keep the water from pooling on it. I have this built up a little higher on this side. So it'll flow the water towards the back. Also, we're on an incline on this ground. So hopefully it'll all run off. But if not, I'll be putting a brace up there in the middle. What we will be doing today is we're running some chicken wire. Because... I believe this stuff is enough to keep things out, but the chicks are so small, I think they could go right through these holes. So we're going to run chicken wire around the, the base of the entire uh, pen. And raccoons will just reach your arms right through. Yeah, and raccoons will just reach right through. And I think we're going to wire up the door too if we have enough. What we've done is we've secured some chicken wire to the bottom portion of the fence so that the raccoons can't reach in and steal them and, and also so the chicks don't run off. We'll also use the wire that came with it to weave in and out and around the top so nothing can get down in between there. I've attached it to each pole all the way around. You go along the bottom of this. I do. <clears throat> On the air you recording? Yep. We noticed some areas where the fence was kind of uh, had a little bit of play in it. So we're running a, this is some electric wire, but it works as a uh, kind of to kind of seal the, or affix the mesh to the uh, dog box itself or the dog pen itself. So it doesn't have any loose gaps or openings that something can fit into or get out of. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Because we've seen what those raccoons can do. And these raccoons eat up chickens bad. Got water in there for them. Got a little piece of junk house in there for them. But the main thing is, we've got them protected. We have boards on the back. They're held in by two by fours on the inside. And we put them on by screwing them through, putting screws through the the uh, plywood into the two by fours to hold them down. 
You got them at the top and the bottom. That keeps pretty much anything from reaching in and grabbing them because we had that happen already before we had the boards on. It gives them some place to retreat to. And I'm not done. I still have to build the nesting place. A check back and you can see how we build the nesting boxes. Boom pals out, like, subscribe, comment, and share.